Okay, hi, I'm Buck Lovell and I am a photographer. When I first got into photography, it was almost completely by accident. I was uh, a manager at a, an, a gas station, 24-hour gas station in Gallup, New Mexico. And a family came in there, family from Oklahoma, three kids, two people. They had no money to buy gas. They had no money, so they stopped and they were trying to trade, do trade for gas. Well, they gave me a little Olympus RD camera. So I put four used tires on their vehicle, filled it up with gas, and gave the kids all the food I could get out of the vending machines because they were headed to California. And with that camera, within two weeks, I had uh, made $150 approximately taking pictures of a motel fire. And after, when I found out you just could pull the trigger a couple of times and make $150, I said, maybe I can do this for a living. Well, as a freelance photographer, I was submitting various photos and motorcycle articles to certain magazines in LA at the time I was living in San Jose. And I was passing through town near the magazine offices and I stopped in to talk to them about something. And they said their editor was gone. And I told them, hey, I might be able to do that job. And it was purely coincidence, pure luck, pure lucky me. So they hired me on the spot based on the, the uh, freelance material I'd sent in previously. And as it turned out, it worked out pretty well. I can't not be a photographer. Uh, when I'm see, driving down the road and seeing scenes, and uh, scenics that I like, I'm compulsed to stop and try to get that image, what I just saw in the camera. And that basically is, it, uh, satisfies my creative side. As a photographer, I want a lot of people to enjoy the images that I've been able to see that they might never see simply because they weren't captured. And I've, particularly South Dakota's landscapes, particularly in the Black Hills area, are just like, a, again, early morning is a magical time here in the Black Hills. It's just, no wonder the Native Americans thought this was a was a sacred place, because it basically it is, especially to a photographer. When I first got into photography, I, I, I was doing spot news. And then I started studying, and in order to develop a sense of what a good photograph was, I started studying Edward West and Ansel Adams, and that sounds almost cliche, and it is almost. <clears throat> but the way you learn what a good photo looks like is by looking at a lot of other people's images. Edward Weston spent 16 hours photographing a pepper once, one exposure, and he was so obsessed with getting that one picture, that's what drives a photographer. They, they're, they see something and they want it to look exactly like they want it to look, and they get cuckoo sometimes, and, and like me, I'll be up at five in the morning, six in the morning when it's dark, and I'll be waiting for the sun to come up. A lot of people don't want to do that.